now I'm going to put down a bat on a lower table. I work on a lower table because you'll see that I need a lot of uh, force. This will be my base. And uh, now here I have the layers in. together but I will make sure that I don't do any more than that because what I def definitely want is that at the end when the when the vessel is finished I can see very clearly the uh, I can see the bands of those of the clay very very clearly I keep banging which uh, should add to to the clay joining better and now I know that the inside of my bands, the ones that I put in, are now vertical. If I would use this piece like this, I would get horizontal bands. But this way I get a vertical band, I get vertical bands, and depending on what object I'm doing, I will plan in advance which one I want. If I'm doing the very open vessels, uh, I'll have it horizontal, but if I want to do a higher vessel, which maybe I want to demonstrate right now, I'll want to go for this uh, effect. So I'm going to put this on top, laying this so it joins, joins the base. Now I have this piece and I will put another piece on top and open this piece up. And again, After washing my hands, I will go back and do the same, and another two bands. So here is one. This is the porcelain. Now I will try 
to have one sit on the other. do in a method which is not total wedging, you know, like you would marble different pieces of clay together. So again, I cut through and I get this combination. And now again, one on top of the other. It's a bit wet. Of course, I want to start more or less in such a way that they're aligned and one on top of the other. revealing the inside. 
What it also will do, it will afterwards uh, be the base of working by uh, stretching this block of clay. one method. Um, I will not employ for this uh, piece the other method, but just for demonstration I want to show what I would do with a spachtel as we say. If I make a different texture, which are mainly on my open vessels, and where I would sort of go into the clay like this, as if I'm making waves. Uh, so what it'll do, we're getting a, we're gonna get a different kind of stretching. What we'll do now is I will do the same on the back side. Uh, we're going to have a, an object which is going to be composed of two different uh, ways of working, but for demonstration that's okay, which means that I've just uh, done the same gesture in the on the other side as I did on, on the first side and on this one now I'm going to repeat the the former one now what's nice with this wire is that I can get Uh, you know, also lines that come from the wiring, so I get like all kinds of textures, which are pretty nice. So here it is, I have my basic block of clay. Now, I have to work on a surface which is, uh, as I said before, a bit lower. It's not a, you know, not like a table. A table would be too high, of, you know, for reasons of what I'm going to be doing now. Which is basically, I, I have this block, which is actually pretty nice in its, in its own way. But the whole purpose is to stretch this. Now if it is a high object, like this one, and I want to open up from the inside, I will first of all, you know now you could think that I'm a handyman or something, uh, you know I'll use a hammer a uh, plastic, a heavy plastic hammer and this thing and now this is another way of opening up and also what it usually does, it gives me the beginning of the the top of the object that I will eventually have, uh, which will have a dynamic of its own. Now when I do this, I'm already also opening up. As you can see, the object is starting to move. 
You're obviously starting to move. So maybe right now I just want to go and open more just in the middle. without touching the outside. Now, some of the movements are, of course, a way that I work that's more or less automatic. I know that I'm opening and I know what I'm using. But at the same time, as soon as my object as my clay is starting to move, as it is starting to expand, I'm starting to come in with uh, some kind of a decision-making process. That means I, I'm starting to look uh, around the object and I'm starting to decide about already about movement, about, uh, let's say, what, more or less, what, what do I want, like, what do you, what do I want to, be, to, to get at? So, first of all, I might want to expand also in this direction. And I'll use alternatively, of course, the hammer, a, at some point my wrist, whatever. Uh, Themselves. I'm working around on all sides. I, of course, also think that I should always maintain the balance because I don't want the object to, uh, you know, to fall over or something. Now, if I might want to somehow try to stretch up a little, uh, I will take, sorry, didn't prepare it, just a minute. 